hey guys thanks for liking subscribing and sharing these videos referring and commenting upon it thank you very much i'm getting very good response from your end keep liking that subscribing this now in this video we'll talk about raoult's law it is under topic solution and colligative properties okay so we'll learn what is this so first of all let's learn what is solution solution is a homogeneous mixture which carries solute and solvent and after mixing they will take same phase hence it is called homogeneous right so when we talk about raoult's law this is a special law which tells that relative lowering in vapor pressure which is p0 minus ps upon p0 is equal to mole fraction of solute so i'll explain what is meaning of it so you can write down p0 is vapor pressure of pure solvent when it is in pure form ps is vapor pressure of solution small n is moles of solute and capital n is moles of solvent and this particular law which tells that relative lowering what is meaning of lowering there's a drop so if you observe vapor pressure of pure solvent is going down once you mix solution so when you mix solute and solvent this drop is represented by p0 minus ps and when we say relative lowering of vapor pressure that means the drop decrease divided by the initial value it is a relative value this is equal to mole fraction of solute and what is mole fraction of solute mole fraction of solute is basically moles of solute divided by total number of moles now a few important things here in this expression the solute which we are using is non volatile non volatile non dissociable so i'm using these two words these are the qualities of solute then only the formula p0 minus ps upon p0 equals n upon n plus n is valid now let's do one thing let's write 1 minus this number p0 minus ps upon p0 so this is also 1 minus n upon n plus n let's solve this so p0 minus p0 plus ps upon p0 will be equal to n plus n minus n upon n plus n so which comes out capital n upon n plus n and this is ps upon p0 so these kind of relations we can get and we can solve these relations at any point of time now do one thing take these two things equation number 1 equation number 2 divide 1 by 2 see what will come it will give you p0 minus ps upon ps equals n upon n so this we can use all these results are applicable as i said the condition is solute is non volatile non dissociable what if solute is dissociable for dissociable solute which can break okay let's say i can talk about nacl which breaks as na plus cl minus assumption is it is breaking 100% ionization so we can say 1 minus 1 will give you 1 and 1 so number of particles will become 2 and if it is any other let's say let's say some x y or ab kind of thing which is breaking as a plus and b minus and you write 1 minus alpha this is alpha alpha where alpha is degree of dissociation so what is final number of particles in this case 1 minus alpha plus alpha plus alpha is equal to 1 plus alpha initial number of particles were 1 so this is known as i or which is also called van t hoff factor so what is van t hoff factor for the previous question nacl question 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 upon 1 which is technically 2 so we can say one particle has becoming two now one particle is becoming two whereas in ab case one particle is becoming one plus alpha now if alpha is 100% or we can say alpha is 1 percent alpha is 100% then in that case i will be equal to two right so all these things we can solve just for practice i want to give one question to you uh, let us take this question al2so4 whole tries which decomposes 60% find out its i how to proceed for this question i'll say al plus 3 plus 3 so4 minus 2 is the break up of this okay let me write it like this in front of this thing so you can say 1 minus alpha 2 alpha and 3 alpha are the numbers so i will come 1 minus alpha plus 2 alpha plus 3 alpha divided by 1 which is 1 plus 4 alpha right upon 1 how alpha is how much alpha is given as 0.6 because 60% is percentage alpha so if i put this number 
alpha is 0.6 into 4 so what's the answer 3.4 2.4 plus 1 is 3.4 this is the i value so i tells us actual number of particles in the final solution and if we apply this modification in this uh, discussion so p0 minus p is upon p0 which we wrote as n upon n plus n you can modify n by i n okay that's the only modification you have to do and you will get all the results correct so in place of number of solute n we'll be using number of solute i n so i hope i can write it like this this will be your formula okay if n is very small in front of capital n it can be neglected but the correct answer will be coming from this result keep liking subscribing sharing referring commenting on these videos thank you very much